wonderful. It's good to see you again. I'm coming to you today to speak on a couple of things. Number one, have you noticed your FYP changed in the past couple months? It's gone from actual content to a monetized popularity contest. Hey, do you like me? Click these couple buttons. Hey, join this. Hit this. And then, all right, we're trying to get our score up. And then also, hey, TikTok shop. Hey, I'm selling leaves. $4.99. These are really good. Do you see the reviews? Man, these leaves were trash, man. They weren't even grown all the way. You get what I'm saying? It's to get people distracted, baby. I know people want to get out of the 9 to 5 and sell stuff. And like, yeah, some people making bread, but like for people who talk about real stuff, they be doing the most. They're getting violations for comments, getting videos blocked. They say misinformation when it's the cited source from the person who made it. Like, y'all know an election is next year, right? And if it's like this right now, they're getting pre-prepped for that election, number one. Number two, if you look at your FYP, you notice you don't see nothing about a, a France revolts or no other country. You only see what they show on you, right? What I learned is that it's not China controlling the data. The app is still based in China, but the servers that they use to save data is in Dallas, Texas. They use a program called Oracle that uses that basically uses AI to determine algorithms. Certain keywords that they put in don't don't allow those videos if you put in these keywords or say these keywords. And they'll take that right out. Another interesting thing that I noticed is that, that on this day, you notice how they say on this day a year ago? So if they got your information saved from a year ago, if you got your account banned, they still got all your videos. So there should be a way to get them back, huh? Is that why they changed the litigation in the terms of agreements for TikTok? Because all those people were suing, trying to get their videos back? If I would too. TikTok owe me by... 20, uh, 15, 20,000 videos off the rip. So if you ain't doing no AI stuff, some kind of comedy, uh, doing food, you know, stuff that distract people from what the hell is going on in the real world, you, monetizing gonna be a little difficult. They even took my link out of my bio, and they said it's something in your bio. I had the same body change, nothing in my bio for the past two years. All of a sudden, my link to my website don't work. My link to my link tree don't work. When I was on the creative program, they kept disqualifying videos. And then they took me off the program. And then I had three or four videos go viral. And then they held money back. When they took me off the creative program, I had a little cash just there. And when I got taken off, they took that money too. That's why you ain't been seeing me on here as much, because I'm looking at, like, the future. If this is just the beginning, wait till election time come. It's going to be like the, when the uh, shots came out for the first time. Y'all remember that? Trying to get stuff out two years ago. And those same videos you can post now with no trouble. Instagram banned my account at 14,000 posts. I ain't never using Instagram again. So that's off. Fan base, slow. It doesn't have the same seamlessness as TikTok. YouTube has started demonetizing certain creators for no reason. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, as a social media creator that speaks truth, the platforms are getting more strict to where you can get your voice out. So when y'all be saying, make another account, make another account, Y'all don't realize how much effort and time creators put into these videos. It's easy to say when you just watching them hoes. But when you didn't made them, especially me, like for instance, I made videos six, seven years, 20 a day. There's people struggling to put up a video. I had 10 to 20 a day for seven years between Instagram, Telegram, and TikTok, I, t I got by myself at least 20,000 hours or more of content. Easy. That's why y'all, like, give your flowers to your people. Not actual flowers because, like, another thing, too, with that tip donation thing, I appreciate the flowers and all that stuff y'all be sending. 
But they be taking a big ass chunk of that money. That's why people be asking for donations to Cash App or Venmo. Because if you do it directly, you support the creator more. Because let's say you send five dollars, right? TikTok gonna send you about a dollar thirty-five after they take off their taxes, their fees, and everything. So you spending five dollars to buy them little tokens and tickets, right? You sending a thousand gems to somebody. And that'll be like two dollars. That'll be if that. That's why you see people do other stuff like tip jars and uh, buy me a coffee and stuff like that because they really do be taking out a big chunk. And they did this TikTok seller thing too to get people off the truth stuff. If you ain't worried about the truth, uh, well, I could just sell some. I'll make enough money and then I'll just be quiet, bitch. That's how they got people, bro. Like, honestly, if I had my original account, I would have been at half a meal already by now. But with all the implementations of the terms and services, not just on this app, on other apps, like some of your content and the terms of agreements on these new uh, apps that you use will allow AI to use your likeness without having to pay your ass. Zoom does it. Instagram does it. Uh, I think Twitter about to or X is about to start doing that shit too, and it's like, woo, it's about to be on some Skynet type shit for real. Yeah, and like like I said earlier, y'all tell people, hey, let's make some more videos, do this, and then you look at all the stuff they're doing to your profile and make you not want to join nothing else. I keep getting the message, join the creative program on the other account, and. Before I even, you know, put in my verification details, video disqualified. I got like 15 videos to disqualify for that program. Doing all this now to get prepared because they know when that, when that solar flash shit, it's going to be a night and day difference. Technology won't even matter. They just want to keep you all, oh, well, I can't pay nothing. I'm going to keep sending money to other places and, and F y'all because y'all pay taxes, but... It's, uh, it's never enough, even though they tax your tax, tax income, which is so stupid. But, oh, none of that gonna matter when that sun hit, boy. Ooh-wee, it's gonna be a lovely experience. Yeah, we cleaning up house on everything. If you can, get prepared or leave the U.S. They got a bunch of people coming in. Borders just open. Just... They got Border Patrol, they're like, oh, come on, hey, come on, bro, it's all right. We got free money and food, we just need bodies, because all these people over here got the pew-pews. So we just need y'all to come, because they got too many pew-pews in America, so we just need extra bodies. But no, you know, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Some of the, the, the governments don't have control like they used to. They giving up the illusion. But a lot of these governments around the world, they have, they don't have control like they used to. And they know when that solar flash hit. All them rules, laws, and regulations they set up ain't gonna mean shit. Somebody said in the cosmos, it's survival of the fittest. From being on Earth, it's survival of the most adaptable. You better adapt and get, get going. I ain't finna deal with none of this extra. If it is what it is, hey, get your power. Do what you gotta do, man. I'm a love and light being always, but we are chaos and darkness too, don't get it twisted. I'm trying to be peaceful, not hurt nobody and all that, but man, when these fools try to interrupt your peace and try to do all this extra to get you out of your zone, oh man, sometimes it be making you hot like volcano lava, baby. And then messing with your monies, oh yeah, that's going to be the key thing. As soon as you can't go to your bank or it says, oh, no funds available. Even though we don't pay taxes. It's going to be a wrap. Then people are like, I don't have to pay bills no more. You don't have to as it is. Debt is imaginary. Y'all know that, right? The world's 71 trillion quadrillion dollars in debt to who? Just remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be real. Everything going to pop off soon. I'm looking forward to it. I just had to do this rant because... I need to get some stuff off my my chest, baby. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. You're going to see a lot of awakened creators just start go to Rumble or something. Because a lot of these uh, mainstream ones are messing up. Well, love you and appreciate you. Y'all take care. Peace. And love.